When you think of therapy dogs, you may not think of dogs like these. These are special dogs who act like tutors. Yes, Mater, a golden doodle. Ruddy, a chocolate Labrador, and Bibbidi Boppity Boo, an Australian Labradoodle, have helped many Fisher's Elementary students improve their reading skills. He was just the right size for my electric toy car, and he liked to hide in my dollhouse. Third grader Sydney Cobb looks forward to her weekly visits with Bippity Boppity Boo and Bippity's owner, Kendra. When I first came, um, it was a little messed up, but now I'm getting a lot better. And now I know some of the words that I didn't know. Sydney and gang are not alone in the media center. Cuddled up nearby are fourth grader Molly Morosi, Ruddy, and Ruddy's owner, Allison. The dogs and their owners have been trained by the 10-year-old local not-for-profit Paws and Think. That's P-A-W-S and Think. It's an organization that believes dogs can help kids and, of course, vice versa. That's why Fisher's elementary principal Patricia Mansfield brought Paws and Think into her school several years ago. Um, our staff, we're all huge fans of dogs and we really know about that um, bonding that can happen between uh, people and dogs and how that can really motivate anyone to do better, uh, put forth more effort. We've also gone into nursing homes, hospitals, libraries, schools and things where we can help kids uh, relate to animals a little better or teach the animals how to better relate to people so that, for instance, with shelter dogs, they're more adoptable. It's so obvious these dogs love their responsibility. A treat now and then doesn't hurt either. I really like when he pays attention because it just, it seems to help me and like read to an animal because I really like animals. She comes home and lets me know who she read to and what she read and it's definitely helped her confidence and um, her reading. So it's been a positive experience. And I know there are some other school districts that don't allow programs like this or animals in the building. So I think we're really fortunate here at Fisher's Elementary to have this program. If you have a dog who'd like this kind of job, Pause and Think is eager to have you. They do need to be well trained and we, we do have a training program that we take them through ourselves. You can go to PetPalsTV.com for a direct Pause and Think link. There, you will find an application. For Pet Pals TV, I'm Leslie Olson. Could be recycled.